it's all mad. <laughs> I was a bit nervous coming up. It's my first in diversity. So I was talking to my mother before I went here. She just took me by the head and looked in my eye and she was like, Owen, if you can make one person laugh here tonight, you probably shouldn't be up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's coming up my most hated time of year. Next weekend, Valentine's Day. And it's in everybody single here. If you're like me, it's just that annual reminder that you're disgusting and alone for <laughs> But the thing that's really pissed me off this year is how many shops are advertising so early. Like I was down at the Cork bus stop last week, and for those of you who don't know the Cork bus stop, for some reason every sex shop in the city has decided to <laughs> spring up around it. <laughs> so I know what it is about people on the bus that you just need to pop in and grab some quick pour. And <laughs> but in the window of the shop there was this big bright sign and it said, This Valentine's Day, get your lover a new toy. And I was getting like, that's a weird toy. That's a weird fucking gift to get anyone. But if you buy a girl roses or chocolates, that means, like, I love you. But if you buy her a dildo, that's just a really sly way of telling her to go fuck herself. <laughs> being alone. I'm just, I'm not smooth. I'm not good with women. It's like, if I'm lucky enough, I'm gonna get a girl back to my apartment, I like to leave dying plants around the place so she can see what happens to things I love in my life. <laughs> um, it's not all bad though. I like to compare my sex life to the training of Michael Phelps, the Olympic athlete. We both train very hard every day for an event that will happen once every four years. <laughs> I would always finish in first place. <laughs> uh, I'm not all bad. I'm not all bad. I managed to actually pull a girl at the weekend. I was really surprised at that. The only problem was, um, it was only after I approached her that I, uh, I realised she was blind. <laughs> and I, I know that's cheating, but you take what you can get. <laughs> I know, I had a really good opening line though, I was like, as a blind woman, can you tell the difference between porn and women's tennis? <laughs> so it's like, a slow down, she puts porn in slow mo, so it's like, oh! Oh! <laughs> anyway, I think she really liked me though, because she rubbed my face, and the spots in my face say, I love you in the <laughs> She managed to pull her and I got her back to my place and she goes, I'm gonna take out pants now. I was like, okay, cool, that's good. <laughs> and um, she takes off my pants and she just starts and she goes, holy shit on. I'm like, oh fuck, my friend. She's like, what's wrong? She's like, this is the biggest dick I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and I kind of go, nah girl, you're just pulling my leg. <laughs> It's tough for lads, it's tough for girls around Valentine's Day as well. It gets very competitive. I was talking to one of my friends there the other day at lunch, and she was saying how she'd love to have a guy from a romantic comedy, but some real kind of suave guy come into her life and sweep her off her feet. So I was thinking about it, and the guys in romantic comedies do exist, but you wouldn't want them fucking near you. <laughs> They're the creepiest men on earth. <laughs> Like, to give you an example, I'll take the most probably well-known romantic comedy everyone knows, The Notebook. Yeah, oh, every girl here has seen that. It's not romantic. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is what happens. Brian Gosling's at a fun fair, and he sees the most beautiful girl he's ever seen in the world. And besides, he has to ask her out. So he goes up to the first time, and she rejects him. And if any of the lads are here, you get the hint after the first time. <laughs> He goes up a second time, gets rejected again. And the third time, he jumps onto a moving ferris wheel, gets pulled 60 feet into the air, and threatens to kill himself if she doesn't go out with him. 
Now that's not very romantic when Ryan Gosling gets up and marries me. But just replace the image of him with the image of me down in front of him. That's no longer funny and romantic and cute. That's like a Gardner inquiry. And I'd probably get 10 to 15 minutes on crying call. That's all I have time for, but you've been a lovely crowd and just thanks for having us really. Woo!